right, guys, time to get warmed up. Here's what I want you guys to do. Feet together, hands at your side. We're gonna be doing some jumping jacks. We're gonna do 30 together, and then we're gonna move on from there. Here we go, and start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. All right, guys, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be stepping forward into a lunge, tapping the knee, stepping back, and then stepping forward again. Okay, guys, and we're gonna, again, do 30 of those. That's gonna be 15 on each leg. Ready, go, step, tap the knee, and back. Step, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, stay with me guys, don't slam your knee down. 11, 12, 13, 14, keep the hands up. 15, 16, posture up. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, almost there, 28, 29, and 30. All right, guys, we're back to jumping jacks. This time for 20. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You know what we're doing? 20 lunges. Here we go. And go. One, and back. Two, three, Four, five, six, step deep, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, almost there, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, guys, ten jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lunges with a little bit of a twist. We're stepping backwards now. So here we go. Back into one, two, a little bit slower on these. Three, four, careful setting them down. Five, six, hands are still up. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, guys, so we're gonna hit the deck here. We're gonna put our feet up in the air for 30 reach-ups. So feet are up and go. One, two, three, little pause. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ten more. Go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. All right, guys, you're gonna lay back, put one foot across your knee. So if my left foot is across my knee, my right hand is behind my head, and I'm gonna do a sit up, opposite elbow to knee together. We're gonna do 20 on each side. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Other side, get that foot across. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, hands under the hips like this, legs are straight for 20 leg lifts. Here we go, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Head up for a little extra burn. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't let them touch. 16, 17, straight legs. 18, 19, 
and 20. All right, guys. So now I want you guys to roll over onto your forearms here. We're gonna do a plank. Here we go. And start. You stay with me. If I'm planking, you're planking. Don't let those knees touch. Body straight, core tight. Come on. This one won't be super long, but I want you guys to stay strong with me. Come on. Don't let your hips sink. Don't raise them too high either. In about five seconds, we're gonna start coming up to our hands and then back down to our forearms. Ready? Three, two, one. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Almost done. Up, down, up, down, up, down. One more. Up, down. Hold it. 10 seconds. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, guys, let's pop up to our feet. It's time to stretch. All right, guys, let's stretch. Arms back and forth. Good and forward arm loops. And backward arm loops. Full range of motion. Good, I want you guys to press one arm across like this. Keep it nice and high, up even with your other shoulder. Good, now pull it low, down like this. You should feel the stretch just a little bit differently when you do it low. Good, open the arms up, other arm across, nice and high, way up by your shoulder. Good, now take that arm down low, like this. Good, now relax both the arms and twist your upper body, pivoting on your foot. Now, as you guys are twisting and loosening up the torso here, I want you to throw elbow strikes. So number one, elbow strikes as you're going forward. Here, look how I'm keeping my opposite hand up. Just making good habits. Might as well. Good. Now turn those into hook punches. Here, one hand by the face, elbow high, and doing our hooks. Good. Now to loosen the hips. Big circles. And the other way. Good, this time I want you to keep your hips relatively still, and I want you to kind of lean your body forward and around this way. Do about two full circles, and then go the other way, here. So you're trying to not really move the hips much, now we're just moving the head and the upper body as much as possible, so we've done about two full circles. Good, all right guys, extend up and fold towards your toes. See if you can get down there. All right, guys, come on up. So I'm gonna show you guys from a side view, but you're gonna take one leg back into that lunge position. You're gonna push your hips forward like this to feel the stretch. You can even put your hands on your hips if you like, but you wanna keep your chest up and your hips forward. Don't lean forward like this, because that's gonna put your hips back. It's about getting your hips forward, nothing else. Good, now kind of to intensify this stretch, you can grab your foot, and I'd like you guys to do this if you can, Pull it in very close and then do the exact same thing. Don't push your hips away too fast though because you'll feel this stretch tight quickly. Good, now relax that leg. Point your toes up towards the ceiling in your front leg and lean forward. Get your chest out towards the knee here. All right, I'm gonna face you guys for this next part. So we're here. Now we're gonna take the leg and fold it across at a right angle. I keep my body over it, and I lean my chest down towards my calf. Good, now bring that one back. Other one up. Hips forward. Make sure your knee isn't over your toes. You want your feet out in front. That's the farthest thing from you here. Good, keep breathing through the stretches, guys, especially if you're feeling it, especially if it feels tight, you gotta make sure you keep breathing, don't hold it. Now, grab your foot behind you, it's a little bit of a balance drill, and now push your hips forward so you feel that stretch in your quad in the back.
Good, keep pulling it tight, keep it close. Excellent, let it go. Now straighten your front leg, toes up, and lean forward. All right, everybody, now take that leg, fold it across, and lean over it. Try to keep your body upright, so you wanna be over your calf, you don't wanna be sitting off to the side. Up like this, so you really feel it. Feel this in your glutes and your hip. Good, now come back to your knees here. We're gonna do a knee split, okay guys? So with the knee split, you wanna be on your forearms, you're gonna spread your knees out really wide, and you're gonna push your hips backwards like this. If you open your feet out to the sides here, you'll feel it even more. Keep pushing those hips back, spreading the knees out so your hips go to the ground. Good. All right guys, bring those back, and let's come back to our, uh, our backsides here. We're gonna put our legs out, and we're gonna lean forward. Good, now reaching one arm up over the top. See if we can get to the side here, all the way towards our toes. Nicely done, guys, let's go the other way. Bring that arm up and over, all the way to the side. See if you can get one arm over your head so you're stretching your side as well as your hamstring. Good, now scoot those hips forward a little bit more and back down to the center. Good, now pull your feet in close so the bottoms of your feet are touching together. Pull them in tight and lean forward. When you're doing that, kind of keep pulling up on the feet. You can even get your elbows to push down on your calves or on your knees here. Good. All right guys, so we're gonna do a little bit of a different stretch. I'm actually gonna face my feet in the same way that your feet are uh, facing, I imagine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your arms out, you're gonna lift your right leg, and you're gonna let that leg kind of hang off to the side towards your left hand like this. So you see how I have one leg facing straight down like the rest of my spine, and the other leg is coming across. Hold it for just a moment, you feel that in your back. Good, now go back to straight. Just laying completely flat. Now lift your left leg over, up, and then fold it over to the right. So you should be all twisted. guys very good all right so now we're gonna roll over to a push-up position we're gonna tuck our toes we're going to push ourselves into a downward dog stair step those feet heels to the ground hand right between the shoulders the whole time if you need a little alternate in the feet that's totally fine but just make sure the tailbone is high and the head is between the shoulders good all right guys pop up now let's get started all right guys we're gonna be getting into movement punches changing angles and things like that. Stuff that you can pick up for shadow boxing. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Just warming up by stepping in and throwing a jab cross. Ready? Go. Breathe out, move quick. Go. Reset yourself back so you're not taking up too much space. Go. Hands high. Go. 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 Come on. Go. Breathe out, rotate your shoulders. Go. And your hips. Go. 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 Go, one more, go. Okay guys, so now we're gonna add a hook and an uppercut. So you're gonna step in, jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Ready, and go. Off the step in guys, ready? Go. Good, use your legs, turn your hips. Go. Couple more. Go. Go. Last one, go. Okay guys, so that's our forward movement. Now, we're gonna start changing angles. We're gonna just do this in little 90 degree chunks. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be moving our back leg backwards, okay? So basically, we're gonna be doing a back step. So I'm gonna take my right leg 90 degrees behind my front leg, like this, okay? So I go this way, and I should be facing 90 degrees to my right here, okay? So as I turn to my right, that's because my right foot moved 
behind my front leg. So I want you guys to practice that. Ready? Turn. So now you're facing a new direction, okay? Now we're gonna do it again. Turn, you'll be facing towards the back. Do the exact same thing, turn. We've gone 270 degrees. One more time, turn. Now you're facing forward, okay? So now we're gonna do a forward step and we're gonna unwind ourselves back the same way. So now I'm stepping forward with that foot, turning. Ready, forward and turn. Ready, forward and turn. One more, forward and turn. Okay guys, so we're gonna be applying these turns into some combinations. So you guys are gonna go, step forward, jab, cross, hook. Now you're gonna almost follow that hook and step back with your right foot and you're in a new direction. Okay guys, ready? So facing forward each time. Go, one, two, three, and then step. Good, reset yourself. Ready, go, one, two, three, and then step. Nice, ready? Go, one, two, three, and then step. Now, after that step, I want you to add two head movements where you're gonna go bob and bob, just like that. So you're gonna bottom weave, bottom weave, slipping from side to side. Ready, go, jab, cross, hook, step. Bob and weave, bob and weave, and then reset yourself. Ready, go, jab, cross, hook, step. Bob and weave, bob and weave, hands high, come on. Ready, go, jab, cross, hook, step. Bob and weave, bob and weave, back to it, come on. Go, jab, cross, hook, step, bob, weave. He's doing good. Go, jab, cross, hook, step. Bob and weave, bob and weave, nice. Ready, go, jab, cross, hook, step. Bob and weave. Last one. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Step. Uh, uh, move and move. Okay, guys. So now we're going to do a combination that involves stepping forward. So you guys are going to step in. You're going to go jab, cross. You're going to reload that cross and do an uppercut. Let's just do that a couple times. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Okay, so loading up on that same hand twice. Go. Jab, cross, an uppercut. Dig in with the hip. Ready? Go. Jab, cross. Uh, Hand is by your face, not coming from down here. Ready? Go, one, two, up. Nice. Again, go, one, two, up. Couple more. Go, one, two, up. And we're stepping into it. Go, one, two, up. Okay, now with that same combination, jab, cross, up, you're gonna kinda go with the up, you're gonna step forward, turning 90 degrees to your side here, and then you're gonna throw a jab, cross. Simple as that. So you're gonna go, one, two, up. Change your angle, jab, cross. So I'm stepping forward to change the angle with my back foot. Okay guys, ready? Go, jab, cross, up, step forward, and then jab, cross, nice job. Do it again, go, jab, cross, up, step forward, one, two, and you're just changing your angle 90 degrees. Go, one, two, three, and then one, two, let's do it again. Go, jab, cross, up, step, one, two, nice. And again, go, jab, cross, up, step, one, two. Be fluid with your feet, guys. No like bumpy spots, just move, relax. Go, one, two, three, up, up. Nice, last two, go, one, two, up, step, one, two, awesome. Ready, go, one, two, three, good. Okay, guys, so now what we're gonna be doing is I want you guys to kind of combine all of that. We're just gonna do this a couple times, this might get a little tricky. You guys are gonna go one, two, up, step, jab, cross, hook, step back, bob and weave. You see how we kind of put both of them together? So watch, I go jab, cross, up, step forward, jab, cross, hook, step back, and bob and weave. Okay, you get it, you get it. If not, it's okay, you gotta rewind and play it back. Ready, go, jab, cross, up, step, jab, cross, hook, step back, bob and weave. Okay, we're only gonna do three. Ready, go, jab, cross, up, step, jab, cross, hook, step back, bob and weave, nice. One more, go, jab, cross, up, step, jab, cross, hook, step back, bob and weave. You guys are looking like uh, Mike Tyson in his prime, guys, very good. All right, guys, we're about halfway through class. That means it's time for a drill. Let's get started. All right. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna be doing a drill involving push-ups, sit-ups, and jumping jacks, okay? Now, this is one of those things where if you have like something like a couch, something that can hold your feet down, it's nice. If not, it doesn't really matter. You can get someone else to hold your feet down, or you can just not have your feet held down. Do it hardcore style. So, we're gonna do um, eight sit-ups with a one-two punch at the top, just hitting the air, okay? Um, we're gonna do eight push-ups with a one-two punch at the top, right? And we're gonna do eight sets of those. 
eight sets of eight each. Crazy eights today, guys. Um, and we're also gonna break up those sets of eight with 10 jumping jacks in the middle. Okay, guys? So if you've got something like your couch or a seat to hold your feet down, we're gonna get started. Here we go. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna roll over here. You're gonna do eight push-ups. I like wide feet. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go, eight, 10 jumping jacks, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right guys, back down, here we go. Eight sit up, second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, guys, roll it over here and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, up for 10 jumping jacks, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's two sets down. We got six to go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hands up. Five, six, seven, eight. Roll it over. At some point, you might need to drop to your knees. That's fine. Here we go. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go, 10 jumping jacks. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Down for your fourth set. And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, and eight, here we go, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we're halfway done guys, come on, get those feet under, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Halfway point, guys. This is pretty tough. You want to do them for your knees? Totally fine. No shame in that. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and eight, here we go. 10, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo, five down, three to go. Feet under, go. One, two, I sure hope I'm counting right. Three, four, wouldn't want to do extra sets here. Five, six, seven, Eight, roll it over. Push-ups, wide base, straight hips, let's go. One, two, come on guys. Three, I'm in pain with you. Four, five, let's go. Six, seven, woo, one more on the set. Eight, 10 jumping jacks. Go, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, I can feel the end. The light at the end of the tunnel, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, high hands, eight. Ooh, the push-ups, this is the fun part. And go, 
One, I want you deep. Two, the whole idea of moving to the knees is so you can keep going deep. Let's go. Three, pick those arms up. Four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, eight, come on. After these jumping jacks, one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, one more set, let's go. Get those feet under. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna try this last set for my feet. Let's see how that goes. Ready? Go. Woo. One. Woo. Come on. Two. Ah. Three. Four. Come on. Ah. Five. Ah. Six. Last two. Ah. Seven. All the way down, guys. Don't cheat. Ah. Eight. Woo. Go get some water. Wipe off that sweat. And let's move on. All right guys, so we're gonna be working on a couple of our kick defenses from level two, okay? So we're gonna do a couple from a fighting stance to start. So what I want you guys to do is get in your fighting stance. Imagine someone's trying to kick you right between the legs, a groin kick. You're gonna take your front leg, you're gonna lift that knee up and across, and then you're gonna set it right back down. Notice how my foot stayed under my knee. I'm not doing this, I'm leaving my, my shin bone vertical, okay? And I'm just letting it lead across, and then I'm resetting, okay? So here comes the kick, ready, go. Up and across, and then right back down. Very simple movement, go. Good, go, excellent, go. And it doesn't matter which foot they're using, if the kick's going right up between your legs, it's a groin kick, you're doing this regardless. Ready, go, again, go, nice, go, and go, one more, go, good. So now we're gonna add punches afterwards, right? There's no such thing as a crop defense without counter attacks, so I want you guys to throw a jab cross. You defended the kick, boom, boom. Now you're putting it down into a jab cross. Ready? Go. Make sure you make a full defense. Go. Again. Go. Nicely done, guys. Come on. Go. Couple more. Go. Go. Defend. Last one. Go, defend, nice, okay. So now the round kick is happening. So they're aiming for the leg, the knee, the thigh, anything here. We have two options of defending. We have absorbing with the thigh, but instead we're gonna check with the shin. So what I want you guys to do now is lift your knee up and out at an angle like this. Okay, so whatever the angle is, you're going out at a 45 degree angle to meet the kick. Now I'm pulling my toes up and I'm putting my weight forward into that kick. So as the kick comes to me, I'm gonna bring my shin to meet it. So the movement is this here. Notice how I keep my hands up and I close this gap between my elbow and my thigh. So there's no area for me to get hit by a surprisingly, surprisingly high round kick. So I defend and then I'm in. Not forward, but out at the angle, this way. All right guys, ready? And go, defend, hands up. Ready? Go, defend, good. Couple more. Go, defend, excellent. Your toes are pulled up, you're flexing those small muscles in the shin. Go, or maybe they're big muscles, I don't know. Ready, go. Make sure you got very strong shins. Go, defend, here, nice. Go, defend, here, one more. Go, here, it's gotta come up quick, guys. You gotta meet that kick. So now, gotta counter, guys. We're just gonna throw a jab cross after. Go, defend, one, two, again, ready? Go, defend, ha, ha. That's it, breathe, guys, hit hard, come on. Go, defend, ha, ha. Couple more. Go, defend, ha, ha. And go, last one, go, defend, bam, bam. All right guys, so those are your you know, basic low kick defenses from a fighting stance. But we're gonna work some of the trickier ones in the level two curriculum um, where the kicks are kind of in unique circumstances. We're gonna start with reflexive defense against a front kick. So with reflexive defense, guys, I want you to imagine that you're just standing there. You're not expecting to be a fight. You're just kind of caught off guard by this and then boom, someone just starts to throw a kick. You don't even know what kind of kick. You just know it's coming frontwards like this. So as it comes, you're gonna do this. I'm gonna fold forward at my waist. I'm gonna bring my left arm out like this. As my left arm goes out, I'm gonna rotate my body and shoulders and I'm gonna push across. 
So look at the extension I'm getting. Look at how far this arm is going out. And I'm achieving that by extending my arm, but also folding at the waist. Now, from that position, I rotate here. I rotate. My body needs to defend itself as well. Okay? So it's reflexive defense against a front kick. Do it with me. Ready? Go. Here. Don't move your feet right now. Just leave them in a passive position. Go. Rotate, twist, and lean. Ready? Go. Go. You're not smacking their leg. You're just kind of using your arm like a two by four. It should be straight and strong, and you just guide it across. Ready? Go. And visualize the kick coming straight up towards you when you're reaching out for the knee. Go. 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 One more. Go. Why is this hand up? It has nothing to do with the defense. It's just because I want to hit this person back. Right? So as soon as you defend, that kick is going past you. Now I want you to step into your stance and just throw a straight cross. Ready? And go. Defend. What? And then you hit. You open the door and you step in. Ready? Go. Defend. Boom. Forward weight in the defense. Bend at the hips. Go. Defend. And then you cross. Let's do it again. Go. Forward. Bow. Excellent. Ready? Go. Nice. Watch this hinge at the hips, guys. Go. Again. Ready? Go. One more. Go. Nice. Okay, guys, that's a reflexive defense against a front kick. We're going to just do one more for now, which we call stabbing defense against a front kick. So this one I want you to imagine you're kind of out of position. You could be um, just have had too much weight on your front foot, so you can't defend with it. You might have even been all the way on the ground like this. Um, and the kick is coming towards you. High, chest, head, that kind of thing. So what I want you guys to do is you're going to put yourself out of position. You're going to take your right arm, and you're going to straighten it like this. It's my arm that's straight, not my shoulder. I'm not rotating my shoulder. I'm keeping my shoulders square with each other. So as I do this, my pinky is down, and that's my position. That's it. Do that again. Boom. Don't rotate your shoulder. Boom. Now as you do this, take the other arm and cover your face. You never know. You want to make sure you got a little bit of cover. Go. Here. Pinky down, arm straight. Ready? Go. Go. One more. Go. That's your position. That's the defense, and the kick is going to ramp up and off the outside of your shoulder. If your shoulders are square, you won't get hit in the ribs. So let's actually start you guys here. You're going to defend and you're going to burst forward and up. Ready? Go. And you're going to stand up in your stance. Back down. Ready? Go. And then up. It's really tempting to want to turn your shoulder. Don't let it happen. Keep your shoulders square, but extend the arm. Ready? Go. And then up. Nice. You don't want to stay out of position. Ready? Go. Now stand up and hit. Come on. Ready? You're down. Go. Excellent. Last two. You're down. Go. Nice. One more. Ready? Go. Awesome work, guys. So that's what we call our stabbing defense against the front kick. We had our groin kick defense from a fighting stance, round kick defense from a fighting stance, our reflexive defense against a front kick, which is from a passive position, and then our stabbing defense against the front kick, which is from just some kind of out of position place, whether it be on our knees or too much weight on the front foot. Great work, guys. All right, guys, it's that time to bust out the old couch cushion. I don't think it learned its lesson from last time, so we gotta beat it up. I want you guys to set your couch cushion, your pillow, whatever it is across from you uh, in, a, in a sideways uh, horizontal position, and you're gonna lay with your chest on it, okay? So we're gonna bring our elbows on one side of the left of the pad. My right knee is up close this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an explosive push-up, and I'm gonna push myself into that knee belly position. Okay, guys, so my knee is across the target, and I'm here. Okay, so when I say up, you go to knee belly. When I say down, you set your hands on the ground, you bring your knee close to the target, and your elbow is right up against each side. So we're going to go from side mount to knee belly. Okay, guys, starting the side mount. Ready, up, boom, knee belly. Foot is out in a good base, and then back down. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an angle so you guys can see everything. Ready, and up, knee belly. Good, good high posture, and back down, side mount. Good. This is level three curriculum, guys. And up here, and then back down. Good. You can even put your hands on the target, like if this was the person to hold them down. Ready? Up. Here. Knee belly. And back down. Good. If you're practicing with this with a partner, guys, be careful about setting your knee too hard on the person's belly. You don't want to bounce on them. But if it's a couch cushion, who cares? Ready? Go. Up. Here. And then back down. 
Good, these transitions are important. Ready? Up, and then back down. Good, again. Up, and then back down. All right, guys, so now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna have you guys put your elbows in. Now look, my other knee is in the target. I'm gonna pop up to my left knee belly. Ready, up, here, knee belly, foot is out for base. And then back down, here we go. Ready, left knee is up, by their hip, and up. So the head is here, guys. The feet are back behind us. Ready, and back down. Ready, up, and then back down. Be quick, guys, be quick. Go, up, and then back down. And up, and back down. One more time. Up, and back down, nice, okay. So now what I want you guys to do is go back to your strong side, whatever that strong side might be. Um, when you do that, I'm gonna have you pop up to knee belly, and then I'm gonna tell you to mount the person, okay? So when I say knee belly, you pop up here, right? You're gonna be throwing strikes. Here, palms, this way. When I say mount, you set your hands down, you bring one leg in, and you flick the other one right in the mount. From here, you're gonna be striking. And then we're gonna go back to knee belly. Here, striking. And then we're gonna rest in side mount, okay? So we're gonna go cycle to knee, side, knee belly, mount, knee belly, side mount. All right, guys, ready? Starting inside, and up, knee belly, strike. Keep breathing, hit, and mount. Hands down, shuffle into it, go. Keep your hands by your face, rotate. Back to knee belly, go. Here, you're still hitting though. Make sure your posture is good, your face is good. Rest in side mount. Hold, breathe, and up, go. Strike, knee belly. Keep going. Mount, shuffle. Knee belly, push off the target to get you there. Feeling good. Rest in side mount. Come on. Just a couple more. Ready? Up. Strike. Come. Mount. Shift into it. You want to be tight to the target the whole time. Don't give it much room to move. It's probably not going to move because it's a couch cushion, but don't give it room. Go. Move the knee belly. Go. Rest inside. We got one more in this. Come on. One more cycle. And up, go. Knee belly. Keep it. Mount, go. Back to knee belly. And down to side. Is your knee tight by their hip? Excellent. All right, guys. So that's some of your level three ground curriculum. Nice work. All right, everybody, we're gonna be working on our headlock defenses. So I want you guys to imagine someone stepping in front of you, grabbing you by the head, and their primary objective is to just rip you to the floor. They wanna wrestle you to the ground by pulling on your head. So I want you guys to imagine you're in that headlock, your head is here, you're gonna be stepping with your right foot into a base. So you're getting pulled forward, you base. It is essential that this foot gets slammed hard to the ground and catches your balance. Ready, go, here. My knees are bent and I'm low. Look at how my posture's broken over. That's not by my choice, that's just the part of the technique that I can't really avoid. I'm getting my posture broken. Ready, go. They're pulling me by the head. Good, now as you do that, take your free arm, your right arm, and you're gonna go to the groin. So as I step, I strike right between the person's legs. And you kinda have to visualize this as you're doing it. Ready, step, strike the groin. Excellent, one more time, go. Strike the groin, excellent. So now, you have another hand. Your other arm is gonna come up right by your head and you're gonna grab this person by the face. What are things we could be grabbing? We could be going for the hair, the eyes. Right now, we're gonna imagine we're putting our index finger under the person's nose here. Okay, guys? So as I step, shake the groin, right underneath the nose, kind of clawing across their face this way. All right, so all that happens at once. Ready? Go. Here, good step, strike, and grab. Go. Really aggressive and fast with your motion, guys. Ready? Go. Good, stay with me, guys. Step back. And go, one more, ready, go. And you're being pulled forward into this motion. So now, this hand here, I'm gonna tilt this person to make them look up like this. Once they're looking up, I'm gonna push them down to the floor, down to their knees, down to their back, and I'm gonna lift my head up tall, okay? So if you've ever practiced this move, 
With a partner, you understand that the, the thing that tends to happen is their head goes down. You can't let that happen. While you push them down, you've got to raise your head. So a couple times slow with me. Step, strike, tilt them up, push them down as you raise yourself up, and you're moving away in a stance. One more time slow. Step, strike the groin, tilt this person, and drop them down as you move away. Okay? Now a little bit faster with me. Ready? Go. Tilt, drop, and your head should be up, and you're in a fighting stance moving away from that person. Ready? Go. Here, up, and away. Look how I swing my arms, guys. I use the momentum of this person pulling me. Ready? Go. Here, up, and away. Excellent. Again. Ready? Go. Here, and then back. Good. So a common mistake, guys, when people do this move, is they push the person away. Don't push the person away, keep everything real tight. You just tilt them and you push them right to your feet as you move back. We're gonna do three more. Ready, go, one, good, and back. Now I want you to add some strikes on these last two. It could be kicks, could be a punch, something like that, whatever feels appropriate. Ready, go, two, good, and away. Excellent. Last one right here. Ready, go, good, and then back. Nice job, guys. So that is your basic headlock defense. All right, everybody, great class, excellent workout. I'm really proud of you guys for being here, and we're gonna um, get ready to. Mr. Campbell, do you, uh, do you mind? We're actually filming right now. Are we on TV? No, are we on. Is no, this TV? No, this is Mr. Campbell's gonna be on YouTube later. YouTube? I've heard of YouTube. No. Yeah, it's, it's really popular, right? Right now, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, we're filming the online classes for, um, you know, for since the virus, we're just trying to get people to train at home. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah, yes. it, was, it was your idea, sir. No, really? Man, with all this cleaning, this, this disinfecting painting, I, it must have slipped my mind. It's, I, yeah. I think you're breathing in too much of the fumes. <laughs> it, it could be the fumes. But, uh, hey, listen, let me know if I have any other great ideas. I'll, you... I'll, I'll do that, sir. Right. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Carry on. Let's uh, go ahead. All right, guys. So, like I said, um... Did... Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <Sorry>. <laughs> 